Hi, my name is Elizabeth Green, and I'm one of the co-founders of an Amazon advertising agency called Jungler. So I wanted to get on this video and help you guys out and give you all a free tool that will help you create bulk files way faster. So one of the most um, popular videos on our channel, as well as the one I get the most questions asked underneath, is the video I did on creating campaigns using a blank bulk file template. And in that, I did walk through line by line. So if you're looking for the basics on bulk files, definitely go watch that video. Now, underneath that video, I did have a link to a Google um, Excel file that you can download and use as basically a blank template. And it kind of gives you at least the basic structure of the bulk file. Um, and so I've had feedback that people are using that. And to be honest, that's well below what we use internally. And what I actually wanted to do was to give you all this this particular tool. Now, this one is one that we used to use way back in the day. I actually um, inputted the formulas myself to do this. Um, it's much clunkier than what we have now internally. It's super outdated. We don't use it. But I thought if you are still using that old template, this is going to be light years above that. So hopefully some of y'all can uh, find this helpful. Um, so below this video, I will have a link to where you can download this specific spreadsheet. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to walk through how to use it. Um, so basically what this does is you can input these right here and there are some instructions right here. So I'm just going to go through the instructions that I'm going to demonstrate um, using this. So what you're going to need to do is you are going to um, enter your campaign name here. You're going to enter the ad group name. You need to specify the uh, budget. If you want to enter the portfolio here, you can enter that. Um, this auto inputs the date. There's a formula in here that will auto input today's date. Um, if you want to change the date, you can always change that. If you want to look back, this is the formula. If you ever want to have the, day, the same day date inputted in your sheet, that's the formula for it if you're interested as well as you need to input the bidding strategy. So there's a drop down for all the different bidding strategies possible, dynamic down only, fixed bids, dynamic bidding up and down, and then you will input the SKU. Now there are a couple, um, I'd say downsides to this particular template. One of them being that when you generate the file, it's only, um, it only auto generates for a single SKU. Now, what you can do is go in and duplicate that ad group row and simply enter, um, the additional SKUs. So it's just, you have to do that manually. However, if you're already inputting things manually, this is still going to speed up your process. And the other thing is currently this file only generates a single ad group. Now, of course, you can go in and manually switch them. Not a problem. Again, if you're still inputting things manually, it's going to be like, yikes. Yeah, light years better. Um, as well as this one will allow you to input if you want to do any placement adjustments. So perhaps you want to input um, a percentage for the top of search or the product pages, you can input that here and the sheet will do that. Generally speaking, you don't want to do that right off the bat, but if you want to do that, there's the option. Okay, so let's get into it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to name this campaign one, and then I'm going to show you again um, how you can actually speed up the process. So before with the other sheet, I did show you um, how you can find use find a replace to generate duplicate campaigns with the different match types. This one, if you input a, um, a certain campaign name, it's set up to auto generate a duplicate phrase as well as a duplicate broad campaign. And so these formulas are actually hard coded into the sheet. It's not a macro. So like I said, it's clunky. Um, what we use now is light years above this. But again, if you're doing things manually, this is probably going to help. All right. So then we're going to enter the campaign budget. I'm just going to put $15 here. Um, portfolio idea is optional. I'm going to leave that one blank. Bidding strategy, I'm going to select a dynamic down only. And then the SKU, I'm just going to put SKU1. And then I'm going to enter. So what you're going to do after you input all of the data for starting your campaign, you're going to want to enter your keywords. Um, so I'm going to say keyword one. 
and then because it's this i can just drag it down and it'll auto input and then you're going to select your match type so if you want exact phrase or broad i'm just going to choose exact because i'm going to show you how it will go through and input um, duplicate campaigns if that's what you want to do then we're going to do our bids i'm just going to select a dollar here i'm copying and dragging this down it's pretty simple and so the bones of my campaign is created now i'll show you where the campaign generates so what it is is this keyword bulk file you're going to see this here and see i have my SKU one now this is highlighted because you know it shows you where the ad group is if you want to duplicate that if you want to input um increase percentage adjustments like say i wanted to do 100 percent for the top of search now you will need to enter a percentage sign because if you are entering a um if you are entering a percentage adjustment when you put it in in a file it has to be in a text format it cannot be in a um a number format so the reason being if i entered just 100 and say i just um format as percent it's not going to include that percent sign in my file and the file is not going to go through so you need to make sure that you are entering and see these are hard coded in so if you double click it's just going to be referencing these cells here so that's kind of the clunkiness to it make sure you don't overwrite any of these formulas contained within here but it is set up so if i created additional keywords here maybe i just want to drag this one down it will it will add those to your full file and then what you can do um, you can copy this file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go from the top of the file to the bottom so i i selected the first row i went down to row 51 which is where my file ends and i hit shift hold down shift and i click that row and then what i want to do is um, control C to copy. You can right click copy. And what I have in this file is actually a blank sheet. And what you're going to want to do, because if you simply copy over this file, if right here, how I just hit um, control via my computer, what's going to happen is it's going to copy over these formulas. And once it copies over the formula, if you copy this to a brand new sheet, it's no longer going to have the correct tabs to reference and it's not going to generate the file properly. So what you want to do, I'm just going to get rid of all of that data. You want to go up to the, um, the first row and what you're going to do is you're going to paste without um, paste values only. So the way to do that is you can either right click paste special paste values only again I'm in Google Sheets so it's going to change a little bit if you're doing it in Excel but there is the option to paste values only in Excel I'm not 100% sure where that is um, but you can paste special and then paste values only or there is a keyboard shortcut for um, Google Sheets I'm not sure why it's duplicating this top row I'll delete that um let me check no that's not oh that's why it is I didn't want to do that I didn't want to do that anyways um so what you're going to do if you're in google sheets you can simply hit down a shift control b and that will copy that without um they will copy the values only and so if notice here when i'm double clicking inside of these cells i don't see any formulas popping up it's just the data that's been recorded so the only thing you'll want to troubleshoot if you are um say copying this and pasting values only just check um in column s where you have the um if you did any percentage adjustments for either top of search or product pages, you want to make sure that this is inputted as a text value. Now, if this is aligned to the left, like you see here, it's going to be a text value. If for some reason this was aligned to the right, and of course I just changed the alignment, so that doesn't matter. But um, if this was aligned to the right, you would know that this is inputted as a um, number value and then it's not going to go through so that would be the only thing to troubleshoot again um, it only allows for a single 
SKU to be inputted. So if, for instance, I needed to input additional SKUs, what I would do is I would simply copy the add group row. And then I can just go down here. And if I wanted to duplicate this, you know, say I have multiple SKUs, um, you could just create another row with the SKUs. It doesn't matter um, if it's underneath the original um, the campaign structure because it just needs to have the correct values inputted into this row. So because, you know, we're still going into the same campaign and the same ad group and that's all the same, it will still input those SKUs into this campaign. Okay, now I'm going to show you how the, um, the sheet will reference and change and create a duplicate phrase campaign and a broad campaign. So currently right now, um, the reason why, so this one technically is created a duplicate and it has a phrase right here. So these are all exactly the same. The issue here is that right now the campaign name is exactly the same. So what's going to end up happening if I copy all of this over? It will, it will create all of these keywords and it will create them in a phrase, but because my campaign names are exactly the same, it's actually going to insert those keywords into my original campaign. So I'm going to end up with a campaign with all of my keywords as an exact phrase and broad. If that's what you want to do, um, more power to you. I wouldn't recommend putting match types inside of the same campaign. So what the sheet actually does, because then these are hard coded values. So what it's coded to do, and it actually is working off our internal naming system structure, because what we do is if a um, campaign is, a, is an exact match campaign, we specify this because these are sponsored product campaigns. So we specify it with SP space E. So what this um, formula is set up to do is if my campaign name um, has SP space E inside of the campaign name, it will substitute SPE for our um, naming identifier for a sponsored product campaign, or sorry, sponsored phrase campaign as SP space P. So if I would like to create duplicate campaigns, and because I kind of have to work with this hard-coded formula, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert, so campaign one, if I put SP space E, and I want a capital E to make it pretty. All right, so if I have SP space E, what it's going to do now when I go to my duplicate phrase campaign, because I have that naming structure here, it is going to give me um, SP space P, which is my naming identifier for my um, phrase match campaigns. And then I can simply copy this file over so I can control C this one. Again, these are hard coded formulas as well. And then I can simply go down to um, my line here and then hold down shift control v again this is google sheets there's no shortcut key or no keyboard shortcut in excel i looked but um if you are doing it in google sheets there is the keyboard shortcut otherwise you know right click paste special values only but and then i can go over and it does this as well for the um sponsored broad campaign because I have, you know, the SPE naming identifier, I can just copy over this one as well, go to the bottom. If you want to get to the bottom of the sheet ever, you can hold control down and it will get you to the very last um, thing that's entered into that column. That's a shortcut if you're interested, but then again, shift control V to paste um, my broad match campaign. So if I wasn't if I didn't have to explain this, I could have created uh, duplicate campaigns very quickly. Again, you don't have to create the duplicate campaigns. It's only if you decide um, you need to do that particular keyword set in all three match types. You want to split it out by campaign. You know, you have the function in the sheet. If you simply want to create another campaign, you know, with a only say I'm only doing phrase match type and then I only want to name it a specific thing, you would just have the file in this keyword bulk file and it will input whatever you entered in the original sheet. 
So hopefully that was helpful for you. Again, I did kind of breeze through this. I'm assuming you know about bulk files and I just wanted to demonstrate this tool, but um, I will leave a link to the tool below and hopefully you find it helpful.